Over here in OneNote, in each of the section, you can also add in pages and sub pages. So here you can see that I have a page right here. So let's say I want to add in multiple pages. So here I'm going to say, uh, I want to rename this uh, untitled page right here. In order to do that, you can simply go over here at the top and then rename it and add in any title you want. For example, I'm going to say Adobe Product Lessons, just like this. All right, there you go. So that's Adobe Product. I'm going to add in another page and here I'm going to say Autodesk. Um, Autodesk Product Lessons and another page right here and that says micro uh, Microsoft Product Lessons, just like that. All right, there you go. So I got three pages right here and each of them are a separate note page and the date uh, and the time is recorded for you auto automatically as you can see right here. So let's say I want to add in um, uh, a sub page over here. So you can also click plus that actually adds in another page right there. And here I'm going to say Photoshop. That's going to be my first sub page. I'm gonna just add in another page right here again and I'm going to say Illustrator. All right, so that's it for my Adobe products. For Autodesk, I'm going to say Maya and another one that is 3ds Max. All right, there you go. So two products right here. Add in another page and this is going to be uh, Word and another one Excel. All right, so I got these things right here, lined up here. Uh, so what I want to do is on the Adobe product lesson, I want the uh, I want the Photoshop and Illustrator to be a sub page. So let me just click and drag it to rearrange this as you can see right here. And if I want to make it a sub page, I can simply click and drag the Photoshop onto the right. And you can see that the Photoshop becomes a sub base of Adobe product lessons. Let me do the same to the Illustrator. Just click and drag and there you go. So this is the main page, the sub page Photoshop and another sub page Illustrator. Let me do the same with Maya as an Autodesk product and 3ds Max, click and drag, click and drag. And for Microsoft product lessons, you got these two. So I can click and drag or I can right click and I can choose make a sub base just like this and make a sub base. If you wanted to make, a, make it a main base again, you can just click and drag it outside and there you go, it becomes a main base. So let's just make it a sub base now. And what you can do is you can also collapse all of these now as they act as a group just like that. So you can expand this, collapse this. So everything uh, that you see is very, very organized. And if you want to have another level of sub base, you can also do that. So let me just go over here. I'm gonna add in a sub base. I'm gonna go into Illustrator above the other Autodesk product lessons. Go above and press the plus button and the base appears. And for this, I'm going to say Photoshop Lightroom. All right, there you go. So this, I want it to be a sub base of Photoshop and I want to add in another base right here. And I'm going to say Photoshop plugins. All right, there you go. So I got a sub sub base as well. And you, you can see that it is very easy to utilize all of them. So that is how you can create pages and sub pages inside of Microsoft OneNote. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.